makeup look and I'm going to be using the Good As Gold eyeshadow palette by Colourpop and before I get started onto this video I just want to say that I'm kind of a little bit worried about using this palette because it kind of smells very weird like when I got it it just ended up looking cracked and stuff like I ended up getting a lot of fallout as you can see and it just came like that I don't know if you could see it like right here I ended up getting like fallout this shade right here is pretty much cracked for some reason, including um, the AU Team, I think that's what it's called. This one ended up being really cracked as well. I don't know how it came like that. Maybe it was like shook or something, like I don't know when um, they shipped it, something like that probably happened. But as you can see, there's like a lot of fallout and like I said, it really does have like a strong odor, like it smells like very very metallic i don't know if all the eyeshadow palettes are like this or if it's just this one if you all ended up getting like the eyeshadow if you all ended up getting this eyeshadow palette with the same odor the whole metallic smell it is really really strong if you ended up getting a palette like this please let me know because i want to know if i'm the only one that received this palette cracked and with a lot of fallout also the whole entire odor like it really does smell like a lot of chemicals and like just it has this metallic smell to it so yeah it just really does so if you all like ended up getting a palette like this I mean the same palette and if you had that issue let me know because I want to know if I'm like the only one or like if anybody else had like the same issue anyway so without further ado because I know I'm talking a lot let's just get on to the video also please pray for my eyes I really hope nothing happens when using this palette Okay, you know. so the first shade that I'm going to be using is the one called State of Mind, and it is going to be this one at the top, along with this brush right here. And I'm just going to apply this shade onto the crease of my eye, or eyelids, that is. Okay, so I'm going to be completely honest about this eyeshadow palette. The golds were just not popping up as much onto my eyes throughout this video. It wasn't as vibrant as enough that I hoped it would be. Maybe I did something wrong, I don't know, maybe I needed a white concealer, I'm not too sure, but it just wasn't working out for me that day. The next shade that I'm going to be applying onto the crease of my eyelids, are going to, it's going to be called Bold Brush, and it is this brown shade right here. And I'm going to be using the same little brush right here. which is this one over here. I'm also going to be using this big fluffy brush and I'm just going to be applying the shade Gold Star on the lid of my eye, but just half of it, not all the way, because if you mix the black and the gold ones, they tend to come out like a greenish color. And I noticed that with this palette. So that is something not to do. So I'm only going to be using the shade on half of my eyelids. Also use your finger if you need to. right here and I'm going to be taking the shade Let's Do It right here which is 
The last one right here at the bottom, it is this black shade. And I'm going to be applying it to the outer V of my eyelids. Blending a black shade can be pretty difficult because it tends to get messy, so you want to be careful. Seguimos siempre la pasión y confiamos solo en el amor. No quiero perder lo que queda. Gold Rush and Let's Do It, which are these shades right here. And I'm basically going to blend out the shades onto the crease of my eyes along with the outer V with the black. So I'm going to be using this shade, I mean, this um, fluffy brush. It's like a smaller one. So this is basically all I'm doing. Like I said before, black can be a really difficult shade to basically blend. So feel free to take your time when it comes to doing this makeup eye look because it can get a little difficult. top of my lid is going to be the golden touch which is this cracked one right here I'm gonna be using my fingers and I'm also gonna be using this brush right here to get into small areas that I cannot get to and correcting the shade to make it a little bit more darker since I did apply like a, another gold on top of my eyelid. I just want to make the black a little bit more vibrant. black shade right here and I'm going to be taking this angled brush right here. It's kind of like um, how you apply your gel eyeliner but I'm not going to be using eyeliner because I don't like to use eyeliner whenever it comes to like glitter eyeshadow because it tends to like I guess um, it tends to like get I guess the eyeliner just cracks and it just doesn't apply correctly. So I usually just take a black eyeshadow, which is perfectly fine, and I'm just gonna apply it onto, you know, my eyelid just as you would as you would like with an eyeliner. Drive me crazy out my mind. How'd you do this every time? Now I'm lost without you. Used to be the one I talk to when I'm sad. Now I'm going to go back into using the same shades, which is the Bold Brush and the Let's Do It. And it's basically going to be the top brown, the brown shade and the black shade down here. And I'm going to be using this angled brush, an angled fluffy brush, that, that is. And I'm just basically going to apply it underneath, like, my underneath my lower lashes. The next thing that I'm going to be taking is my Pretty Vulgar Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to be using this um, 
angled brush and I'm just going to be applying the eyeliner on the waterline of my eyes. Sculptor Contour and Highlight Palette. I'm going to be using this shade up here. As you can see, I'm already running out because I always use this as my contour and I actually love it. The only thing is I'm not really good at contouring. I'm still learning, so there is that. I think I'm going to have like a hard time basically trying to learn how to contour because it is a really hard thing to achieve, at least I think besides the eyebrows. Star and obviously this is one of my most favorite highlighters because it actually shows on my skin. I've tried other highlighters and they just don't appear on my skin like Jeffree's does. Blushes with my Kabuki brush from BH Cosmetics, and I'm just going to be applying it onto my cheeks. The next thing that I'm going to be using is my Jeffree Star Baylor Liquid Lipstick, and this one is the Bonseria one. I also hope I say that name right because I constantly feel like I said it wrong. This one is one of my favorites because it is just so perfect for the holidays, especially for like Christmas and New Year's. It is just a lovely, beautiful red. So this is the final look. Like I said, the shades weren't as vibrant enough. I don't know what was going on. Maybe it just wasn't my day, but in the end, it still looked cute and it also looks a whole lot better in person. Just my camera isn't really good in quality, so there is that. But also, I decided to wear this cool outfit for you all and this dress is from Fashion Nova. So I could show you my full glam makeup look and outfit for New Year's and it is just super gorgeous. I love the dress. It is beautiful and absolutely just one of my favorites. I am walking into 2020 looking good and also confident so yeah there's that um but yeah hopefully you all enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below if you did love this makeup look and also don't forget to subscribe and press that bell notification to be notified on my next upcoming video bye everyone Crecemos miles, crecemos